just wanted to start with a few quick comments uh, to kick this discussion off. Uh, this is an interesting publication that uh, I ran across a couple of years ago. It came out of Iowa State University in 1907, and I've just highlighted a few of the excerpts from this. Uh, manure, I think we've always recognized the value of manure from its fertility perspective, but sometimes we've forgotten, I believe, about the soil quality benefits of manure. And this article that's more than 100 years old recognized the importance of manure to the soil properties, such as the physical properties. And as it states there at the end, its value to the soil can scarcely be measured for no other substance has equal power in maintaining permanent fertility. Uh, it's always boggled my mind that we've ever, ever equated the term manure and waste or use those in the same context. I think that is such a tremendous disservice to manure. And I really think we need to recognize its value both from a fertility perspective and for a soil quality perspective. And glad to have a chance to share at least the soil quality side of that discussion today. Uh, a more recent effort to share that knowledge of the connection between manure and soil quality is an effort that's uh, being uh, hosted by the Soil Health Nexus Group, a group of North Central Extension faculty that are bringing together some knowledge in this area. And we're hosting a more central MASH blog, Manure and Soil Health blog. You can see the link to that here in the box. Uh, over the last year and a half, two years, I think we've accumulated quite an excellent review of the science in this area. And so an excellent place to go to for additional information, including the information you're going to be seeing here today. Uh, the most recent article that has appeared in a MASH blog is summarized in this particular graphic. And this was an effort to pull together the, the knowledge gained from 141 different studies looking at the substitution value of manure for fertilizer. And these were studies done from around the world in the US, in Asia, and in Europe. And just three things I'll highlight real quickly and encourage you to go to the MASH blog and uh, see more information on this. Uh, but in terms of some of the benefits that were reviewed by this study, what was the change in crop yields as the result of using of substituting manure? On average, a 5% increase. What was the change in nitrogen losses from this system? On the average, uh, a greater than 25% reduction in losses of nitrogen to the air and to water. Some of the reasoning behind that reduced losses it is illustrated here in terms of nitrogen's storage in the soil system being much more in that pool of microbial biomass nitrogen or MBN and some of the changes that occurred in that soil organic pool. So just a quick summary of what some of the findings were in that article and I encourage you to uh, take a look at at least the summary that we put together on the blog, if not the entire uh, research article, which is an, an excellent piece of literature to review. So you'll find those by going to that Soil Nexus website and encourage you to uh, take a look at that in greater detail. 